Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And some of the main fundamentals that are out there today, um, there was a big survey done by Bank of America uh, to get a bit of a flavor as to kind of, uh, kind of client sentiment out there. And they do this uh, normally every couple of months. And the last time they did it was in October. But the results this month was also about where uh, investors believed we were in the middle of the bull run in the US market. And uh, what, what kind of came out was quite interesting. So about 59% of the respondents said that they felt that this was at the end of the current US bull run after the uh, end of the credit crunch uh, in 2007. So they think we're pretty much just at the cusp and then there's 40% um, of, uh, uh, of investors who really believe that we're actually in the middle phase of that kind of bull run. And then obviously just like 1% that actually believe that we're just at the very, very beginning. So when you consider there's such a huge amount of, uh, of waiting for, for people that think that you know, we're at the end of the road here and the next phase is down, that's kind of interesting. And when we look at that 40% of people who think we're in the middle of a, of a, of a major bull run, um, that is down from about 60% from October last year. So that gives you a bit of a flavor. The sentiment is definitely kind of turning. When you look at the markets, like right now, a lot of them, if you look at the US market, for example, we were here before, we've been slowly, we, we dropped down, we're slowly edging up, and we're kind of quite a good bit away from uh, the top of those, those highs that we made. So a number of traders are thinking that we're just gonna slowly grind a little bit higher and then slowly move, high, uh, move a little bit lower. But um, with everything that's going on between the slowdown in China, slowdown in Russia, trouble in the Middle East, the, U the US economy is one of the few kind of bright shining stars out there. And there is concern now that that's, uh, that kind of uh, move to the upside is almost at its end. So very interesting time. So that's pretty much the current, con uh, current fundamental position. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look at things from a technical side. So as ever, I like to start off with the US 30. And uh, we do have this really bullish candle that we had yesterday, not much follow through today. You could get an idea as to the previous highs that we had. So 18,368 is that longer term potential resistance. And that was, you know, the, the, the top end of what had been quite a significant move to the upside. If you look, if you look at the size of this trend, uh, you know, all the way back from, uh, from 2009, all the way up to, uh, to that recent high. You know, we're not that far away from there right now, but this does look a little bit top heavy. The question for a number of traders is, uh, but there's no doubt they have on their uh, have on their mind is you know how much higher is this going to potentially go? But 18,367 is that uh, potential resistance level. We've had a fantastic run since we had that that double bottom there back in the the start of 2016. 83 percent of CMC market clients are sh are currently short. Uh, looking at this right now, it's not that you completely expect that something is just going to completely fall over. Uh, but uh, the question is, how much more gas is left in the tank? And you all want to look at the macroeconomic data releases. The US 30 will continue to go up for as long as the data is good. As soon as the data begins to, uh, to, get, to get negative, that adds a lot of pressure. So that's something for you guys at home to consider. So moving on to the UK 100. Uh, it's not, if you have a look at this from a slightly longer term perspective, uh, it's still uh, got quite a long way to go. You can see this is us from, it's actually 2009. The move to the upside was nowhere near as strong as we had in the US market. Uh, and we're still quite, quite far, far away from the tips of these highs right here. Uh, going on to my daily candles again. Uh, we're in the middle of two ranges, 6070 potential support. 63.27 potential resistance for miles away from anything from there just now. So 55% of CMC market clients are currently short. Moving on to the Japan 225, neg very, very volatile, horrible day yesterday for, for, for traders. It was down one second, up the next, back down again. A negative candle again today. People are buying the Japanese yen. Dollar yen has really sunk a lot lower. 68% of CMC market clients are currently long. Uh, we're hugging that 21 period SMA. Next potential support, 16.384. Moving on to that dollar yen, we've broken lower out of that triangle formation. Really bad, bad day yesterday. Uh, off the session lows, closed below 11, uh, 111 spot 61. Uh, very kind of pretty volatile so far today. Technical is relatively neutral. Crossover on the MACD. Next potential support 110. Uh, 111 spot 61 might act as potential resistance in the short term. Moving on to West Texas crude, it's been going great guns. Uh, fantastic day yesterday, fantastic day the day before. That was on the back of that Saudi Arabia, Russia, uh, OPEC meeting to talk about a cap in production. Saudi Arabians need more money now. 
Um, and they're not too bothered about putting a cap on Iran. They're a small part of a much bigger puzzle. And that's causing us to get, we're pretty much at $40 right now. Psychological round number, very significant. Um, things are, are, are looking up a little bit, but we've not actually had a proper break up through that $40. 55% uh, of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. Moving on to gold. Uh, gold not massively capitalizing on the dovish FOMC. We had obviously a great, a great move on the Wednesday, uh, not much follow through on Thursday. Again, these tips and these candles are indicative of selling pressure. We're in about 1270. Moving on to euro dollar, uh, euro dollar, the euro getting a decent move. Oh, again, it's dollar weakness rather than euro strength, uh, but a decent day yesterday, no follow through today. Failure to break through this recent high here at one spot 1381. Uh, other technicals relatively neutral. 73% uh, of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. Uh, if we break above this candle, then you could be looking at one spot 1483. Uh, continued failure to break higher will add pressure. And then you've got GBP USD just to finish things up. Uh, Sterling had a fantastic day yesterday. Good day the day before. Interesting candle formation to have. Not a whole a lot of follow through so far this morning. One spot 45, 65 could be the next potential support, but you're probably looking at the tips of these candles here. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe actually one spot 45, 65. If you're looking at the tips of these candles here, uh, that would probably be an interesting place to go. Uh, any drift lower, you could be looking at one spot 43, 52 as potential support with 72% of CMC Marcus clients currently long, short, sorry. Moving on to the market calendar, not much the uh, University of Michigan consumer sentiment, that's uh, due later, nothing at the weekend, existing home sales and consumer confidence on Monday, and then Tuesday you've got Purchasing manager, Managers Index in Japan, IFO Business Survey in Germany, CPI in the UK, and of course the ZEW Business Report, very, very useful for German traders. Well guys, that's it for me, very good luck with your trading, and enjoy your weekend, and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next. Thank you very much, and goodbye.